These machines create a virtual racing experience so real, racers never even have to go outside. 1.2% higher top speed. Amazing! So when you, you know, first became a mother, did you start to think about like kind of the messages in movies? I, it's funny, people keep asking me, did you do this movie because you're a mom now? And I, I have to say, it is nice to do something that my kids can watch because obviously Scandal's not appropriate <laughs> for little ones. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I, I've been a fan of this franchise from the beginning for 11 years. So I think I was more drawn to the project because I'm a big kid rather than because I have kids. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, I've from the beginning of my career, even before I was a mom, I've always thought a lot about the messages that are conveyed through the work that I do, probably because I feel like there's extra importance around that as a woman, and particularly a woman of color. Yeah, and one of the messages I loved in this movie was like having confidence no matter what. Can you yeah. talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, you know, the, the storyline of Cruz is actually heavily influenced by Cristela's real story and growing up in a border town and being told by her family that she shouldn't have big dreams because they didn't want her heart to be broken. and. Mm -hmm. Even though we're from opposite sides of the country, I really identified with that because I also grew up in the Bronx in a community that, you know, is, has a lot of poverty and there are a lot of people who are scared to encourage their kids to dream. But wow. I was lucky enough to have parents who really did encourage me to have big vision and big imagination and unlucky enough was able to you know, somehow face my doubts the same way that Christella has. Yeah, you can dream anything no matter That's what right. kind of the circumstance. That's right. That's right, and you should go for your dreams. And that failure is inevitable. I love that that's kind of one of the takeaways mm. of the film too, that failure doesn't mean you shouldn't have a dream or that you don't deserve it or that you shouldn't continue to pursue it. Failures are actually an inevitable part of success. If you don't collect your failures, you're never gonna get to your success. Oh yeah, she says a line about, you know, trying no matter um, if you're gonna fail. I think that's so wonderful for kids because yeah. they don't necessarily know yet what their natural ability is, mm -hmm. but it's to learn. But it's important for them to have the courage to just try. Yeah. Yeah. And have confidence. Yeah. Did you have a mentor growing up that really helped shape where you are today? Well, I think I've been thinking about it a lot because of the film. I feel like I often talk about my mom, but my dad is really the one who taught me to have big vision. My dad is a big dreamer. He's got a big imagination and a lot of vision, and I think he really taught me to do that and to have that, so I'm very grateful to him. I would say now probably Shonda Rhimes is one of my biggest mentors. You know, She's my boss, but also a friend, and yeah. um, she's a great mom and a great professional woman and a leader and a, a citizen of this country. She's just, she inspires me in a lot of ways. Yeah, and how is it working with Pixar? It's it? awesome. You know, I'm, I've been such a fan of Disney and Disney Pixar for a long time. I mean, I'm, I am that girl. Like, I love all the movies. They all make me cry. They all make me laugh. I'm yeah. in, I'm in, I'm in. So yeah. it was really fun to now be on the side of helping to tell the story.